Hello, I'm Gordon Lundy, the leader of West Berkshire Council. My aim today is to share our thoughts on the budget the Council has to set this year and what that means for the services you use and often depend on. In November, I explained how the government is having to make savings to deal with the national deficit, which also means savings in the grants that it gives to councils. We receive a grant from government that helps pay for part of our services, and this grant has been reduced significantly for the fifth year in a row. Now, combined with rising costs, this means we again have to save more than £5 million from our budget. Because we anticipated this, we asked you in November what the impact of making such savings would be. Now, on this website, we listed the savings and asked for your feedback and suggestions. So firstly, thank you to all of you who have responded. Listening to what you have said has helped us make these difficult decisions about savings. And of course, we will continue to invest in the services that are necessary for the well-being of people living in West Berkshire. Although our government grant has been reduced, there is still some good news. The local economy continues to improve, and as a result, our income is higher than expected. This means we can pull back on some of the proposed savings in line with the comments that you have made to us, without having to look elsewhere to reduce our costs. The greatest number of responses we had were about proposals to reduce the subsidy we give to the Corn Exchange Theatre. We still have to do this, but now we can spread this cut over five years. There was also a lot of feedback on plans to reduce library opening times. I'm now pleased to say that we are proposing smaller reductions in many of the areas, most notably in Pangbourne. Comments on the Tourist Information Centre suggested some elderly people would lose out if it was closed. So we propose to take only half of the original savings and we will be working with other organisations to find extra funding so the service can remain. One of the areas that attracted considerable opposition was our plan to ask schools to fund the eight crossing patrols. We can now propose that they will stay and that we will work with the schools, communities and our highway service to see if there's a need to consider pedestrian crossings outside of these schools. However, the school crossings will remain. We had proposed cutting some road maintenance costs, but given the unpredictability of the weather, we have reconsidered many of these proposals. So winter gritting and roadside gully emptying will continue this coming year as before with no reductions. And finally, we received suggestions that instead of applying weekday charges for Sunday car parking, we reduce the impact on town centre trade by raising the £1 flat fee to £1.50 for the whole of the day. So that's what we plan to do. So thank you again for your comments. On this webpage you can see a link to all of the detailed feedback you have made and the Council's responses to that feedback. You will also find a link to our budget, which will be proposed to the Council's Executive on February the 13th. This budget also proposes no increase in your Council tax from West Berkshire Council. It also brings forward proposals that will allow us to invest significantly in some of the district's facilities. We will continue to invest in improving our schools, from Lambourne in the west through to Calcutt in the east. Over £1 million is available as grants to help disabled people to live in their own homes and we are investing heavily in flood defences in Newbury and Thatcham. And shortly, we will be looking at our vision for the east of the district, starting with an investment to draw up plans. So, despite these difficult times and the need to make savings, I am pleased that we are able to propose a budget that meets the need to make savings, that supports essential public services, and that adds investment to the district so we can keep West Berkshire a great place to live. Thank you again for your support.